So greetings, I'm Ali Bian Vidal. I'm here to do a tarot reading for the next two weeks. Stay tuned. So namaste and welcome back and greetings. So this reading is from the mid-June 2020 to the end of June and I'll be doing another reading um, at the beginning of July. So these cards are based around the 78 cards of the tarot and I pulled four cards in order to cover this space and what may um, arise. Now I'll be tapping into spirit and I'll also be tapping into the cards. So whoever this reading is for, this will be linked towards you if you feel drawn to these cards and you want a reading, please obviously drop me an email or go to my website which will be somewhere here or at the end of this actual reading. So let's get into it. So the first card I've pulled is about balance. Now, when I see the um, balance, it's about being rooted because it's focused upon the um, root chakra, which is at the base of your feet. At the moment, you may not feel um, really stable and I'm feeling it's more around emotional um, upheavals or shifts or changes. So this card is telling me that now is the time for you to start getting some balance and getting some normality back to your life. Or if there has been no normality in your life or any balance in your life, it's coming up now. Now is the time for you to really focus upon really getting ground roots um, into your particular situation and also in order to do, with, to do with you and emotion. This is about emotion and love. I'm being pulled to a Pisces, I also to a Libra and also to a Capricorn and Sagittarius. They may have links to this card. It may be you, it may be the person that you're in com communication with. There's an emotional connection there. And I really feel that you are, you have been on a bit of a journey and because of the changes that have been going on within you emotionally, this is now um, made you um, reevaluate who you are and what you're about and what your situation is. Now the important thing is, is not to really stress about it and worry because things will balance themselves out and will help you to move forward. So moving on, I've got the Ace of Swords, which for me is about you having so much conflict and stress and it's almost it's like all that is now past and don't dwell too much upon um, what it was and what was going on and what you didn't get and everyone done this and no one done that for you. Now's the time to really focus upon what you want out of life in order to move forward because right now there is so much upheaval and so much changes. As I said, there's balance coming and balance is now finally here. I feel you now can get rooted. The other point that Spirit and um, the Collective is telling me is to go into the woods, spend time in the woods, spend time in nature, go to a park. Feel the grass beneath your feet. It's all about you connecting with Mother Earth. This is what this is about. If you meditate, meditate on the infinite. Meditate on um, balance and, and earth cores. You should be outside in the sun. or Even if it's raining, you need to be outside. This is about you connecting with those outdoor angels. Not so much indoor angels, outdoor angels. That's what you need because there's indoor angels and there's outdoor angels. You need to start connecting with outdoor angels, especially around rooting yourself and being firm and understanding what your transition is and, where, and what's going on in order to move forward. I feel now's the time when you're starting, whatever you start to learn, lay down roots right now is what's going to continue or you're making steps in order for the end of the year. So what you do now is for the next six months, so be aware of that. And again, start. Um, there's one main problem or one main challenge that you either facing. Um, if you are facing it right now, you're going to overcome it within the next couple of weeks or next couple next month or so. This is about you coming out of it. If you're facing, you have not have an, an issue and you're uh, you're in two minds about a conflict and you're not sure what to do. Your answer will come within the next couple of weeks. So take note to what the collective or spirit is sending you because it's trying to guide you and trying to show you what you should be doing because it feels to me you're not seeing what they're trying to tell you. So please be aware of what spirit is trying to show you. 
The next one is for me is about again it's about looking at your mind, looking at yourself. This is very much about rooting and looking at your your current situation. About I keep going about this grounding. All my cards are about rooting. You staying rooting. You working out. You don't go away with the fairies. You need to be rooted and find your answer within now. Um, and also, I feel like obviously there's conflicts around you and what's been said about you you're going to see a change. There is a change. The truth is coming up for you. I keep. I have to say that the truth is now coming up for you or the truth will be revealed for you to finally see, either to prove your innocence or to prove who and what is really going on. This is about truth. I have to say you have to stay rooted. You have to stay beliefs. You have to have faith in spirit and the faith in God because it feels like they are trying to make things move for you, but it feels like your faith or your faith in yourself doesn't seem to be really rooted or really aren't, you're not really um, getting that connection with yourself and with spirit. So you need to be rooted and let spirit guide you. Let them take you forward. Um, my collective is saying, look, we know that you've been through a hard time and it's been a tough time. I'm not talking about lockdown. Ignore lockdown, ignore the... the, um, the um, uh, pandemic this is about you this is about your emotional connections about where you're going and what you want to do so stay true stay focused so moving on again this is about you connecting with a loved one there's a loved one coming into connection i don't feel it is the blood it's not about love it feels like you've been finally reconnected with that loved one that you have not seen in a while and again i don't feel it's about this pandemic it's not about that this is about you realizing after you've gone through your routing and your understanding and really facing what's going on for you, you finally find the true answer that you're looking for. It's almost like, you know what, stop worrying about nothing and start focusing upon what you can change and what they're showing you to change because they are allowing me to tell you, allowing to try to show you that they are working to make things happen for you. There's so much going on. I I really want to give you and send you so much energy and love because there is changes happening for you. And again, I have to go back to your routine. And when this comes, when this card comes up for me, which is a two of two of ones, this is about your home life. Your home life is so important. Appreciate it. Look at gratitude. Start using the law of attraction in order to really manifest and make things shift for you. So I'm just going to stop there and I want to just say, you know, stay blessed, stay true and stay focused. As we learn together, we will grow together and I'll see you in the next video. You take care and stay blessed.